Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, more information uh, can be attained at bookmap.com. Uh, there is a free 14-day trial of the product. Uh, it also comes with education. So you get Bookmap for 14 days. Uh, you get the uh, access to the Bookmap educational course. Uh, and then uh, you also get access to the um, uh, live um, order flow uh, advanced analysis webinars that, that follow uh, this webinar at 11 a.m. Okay, the, um, uh, the advanced uh, um, order flow webinars, uh, they look at the live market uh, and we look at, at um, uh, the, the details that uh, are supported here in the um, uh, educational course. Okay, so uh, learn from the course and then follow up and see it in the live markets. All right, that's the uh, uh, concept here. Uh, it's not available for those that are not in um, trial or current customers uh, because uh, uh, this is a, uh, uh, a webinar to go through uh, what the platform is, uh, what it's showing you, how to use it, um, you know, more about the uh, kind of user interface and uh, what, and the data that it is um, displaying. Uh, then we uh, get into the um, uh, really how to apply that uh, and understand the order flow um, and uh, start starting to use that within your trading uh, in the advanced uh, order flow uh, webinars. Okay. More information, support at bookmap.com. Uh, then um, let's go to bookmap.com. And just a quick review of the uh, of the website. Okay, there's an intro video here, uh, a couple minutes long. Some more info uh, here about Bookmap. Some testimonials. Uh, there is Bookmap for equities. Okay, with Nasdaq Total View from DX Feed. If you are interested in that, if you are, let me know because uh, we can take a look at some equities. I have some uh, loaded and uh, uh, connectivity. All right, so this is important. You will need to um, be able to connect Bookmap to the live markets via one of these data providers. Okay, we are a software platform, not a data provider. Okay, so you'll see though that there are actually a few software platforms as well here, like NinjaTrader, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Workstation. Um, so um, you, we connect also via the API of those three platforms, okay? So that's another way of connecting as well. Uh, however, we are a platform, so you can just uh, connect directly with Rhythmic, CQG Gain, uh, IQ Feed, Transact, et cetera, or Dev Experts for the uh, uh, US equities. Uh, and soon we'll have the cryptocurrencies, okay? So uh, that's gonna be in the new release uh, that comes out in, uh, in mid-January. Okay, here's where you can find that free trial. Uh, it's under free trial link here, and uh, there is the basic, advanced, and quant uh, different features here. So really, there's only one version of Bookmap. It's Bookmap Basic. It's $49 per month, and it's billed quarterly. Uh, and uh, you can see the um, advanced version here with additional features. It costs $99 per month, and it's billed quarterly. Okay, you get uh, with this one, you get the one-click trading, so you can trade right from the book map chart. Okay, this is an advantage because uh, you have the liquidity map in front of you. Uh, so you can uh, really optimize entries, exits, and trade management uh, through the, uh, the one-click trading uh, add-on feature. Okay, so uh, you can hide your uh, stops, your stop losses behind areas of high liquidity, for example. Um, and uh, you can uh, front run high liquidity to um, try to guarantee or uh, look for a higher probability of getting filled on your entry, okay? That would be rather uh, difficult to see uh, with um, uh, some of the, you know, aggregated charting uh, platforms out there, okay? Uh, there's some uh, volume and balance and book and balance indicators here. Uh, these are pr all proprietary indicators that we've put together uh, for this advanced version. Uh, and we also start to identify not only the high areas of liquidity, but the, the specific players uh, at those levels. OK, 
Okay, so a large lot tracker, it identifies um, uh, key players that are holding um, a massive amount of liquidity uh, at specific price levels. Or the iceberg detector, uh, when you, you'll start to see maybe absorption start to occur uh, at a level, but uh, you, you can see that in the limit order book, there's uh, very few contracts. In fact, more is trading than what is at that level. So that's an impossibility, but um, uh, you can't uh, sell more than what is uh, on the offer. But uh, you, you actually can in these markets using an iceberg order or hidden order. Okay, so we can, um, our algo will detect that and then plot that onto the chart. Okay, let me know if you have any questions, happy to go over any of that. And we also have a correlation tracker here. Okay, uh, looking at different markets. And we we utilized that pretty nicely the other day um, in uh, crude oil, uh, looking at uh, RBOB, uh, which was great. Okay, now quants, uh, you'll have specific needs. Uh, we've had a lot of quants uh, contact you, contacting us recently. Uh, so they'll have want to connect to their own data, do their own studies, have their own proprietary indicators, etc. Uh, whatever your needs are, just click here, uh, and uh, and we'll uh, help you out uh, and meet your needs. Okay. Now, if you're new to futures and uh, you need a uh, uh, a data feed as well, well, you can click here and get a trial for 14 days for a data feed. Okay, through a variety of different um, uh, providers. And uh, there's a complete uh, chart feature uh, list here uh, that you can uh, uh, look at all of the uh, all of the different uh, 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 features. Let's just click on that and show you here. Okay, so uh, this is you know the differences between basic, advanced, and quant. Okay, it's going to be more down at the end of the uh, document here. Okay. All right, you can follow us here on uh, Twitter uh, at bookmap underscore pro uh, to get up-to-date information and retweets, uh, other users, et cetera. Uh, join the community there. Uh, and then uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube page. Um, and uh, when new videos are uploaded, you can access them here. Okay, uh, if you're new here, I would suggest going through some of the intro videos. Uh, and then watch some of the features and component uh, videos here uh, to understand the features and what bookmap is. Uh, and then these order flow video snippets, I think you'll really enjoy these. They're very concise two to three minute videos that go over what bookmap uh, uh, can display. Uh, what um, uh, you're not seeing uh, with other charting platforms and you do see it in bookmap. Okay, so uh, we go through many different concepts here. Uh, all important stuff, and this is what we go through in the live um, advanced order flow webinars, okay, in detail, right, every day. So um, we point this stuff out and um, uh, how to recognize it and take advantage of it and um, uh, trade to uh, uh, or have more insight uh, at those levels for a higher probability in your trading. All right, let's jump into a book map and uh, take a look here uh what we're uh what we're looking at okay so uh i'm just going to actually take a step back and look at some of the higher time frame charts here we've had a lot of data this week this is a big week fundamentally um nice move in crude uh to the upside uh and then looks like oh, let's go with the nasdaq because it looks like we're just about to break out of this area here right, let's just take a little bit bigger look here yeah, it looks pretty nice. So uh, let's we'll we'll stick with the Nasdaq. Okay, and um, nice breakout here. You can see at uh, 6434. Uh, some good stuff to go over here. Um, and uh, so I, I'll I'll cover this in just a minute. Uh, we're already seeing some really nice uh, stuff here in Bookmap. Uh, so um, what is this? Uh, so let me take a, a big step back, and we're going to go through the, some of the details. Okay. Um, this looks like a, it's very complex. It's really not. It's actually less complex than a candlestick chart. Okay, uh, and um, there's only three elements here being displayed on the chart: historical best bid and offer, where the volume traded on that historical best bid and offer, uh, with the volume dots, uh, and uh, and then this liquidity heat map that you see here, the grayscale. Okay, that's just um, the recording of the dome. 
we take all of the data from the dome and then plot it onto the chart for you. So now you can see where there was interest in selling up here or buying down here and, and buying here in some of these areas. Okay. So uh, that's, that's, uh, that's it. All right. Uh, it's uh, uh, a lot less uh, detailed than uh, understanding a candlestick chart because, and I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you why. Okay. Okay, so here's a candlestick chart, okay? Now, obviously, it looks very simple and clean, uh, but there is just um, uh, a lot of opaqueness here, and, and we don't really have a, a good understanding of what's going on in the market. Why is that? Well, first off, this candlestick is aggregated for a time period, okay? Even if, it's lo if you're looking at volume or if you're looking at Renko bars, whatever it is, it's still an aggregation. Okay, so a five-minute candle uh, is only showing you open, high, low, and close uh, of a five-minute period. Okay, there's going to be all sorts of microstructure within this period here that we don't have any access to. Okay, the way Bookmap solves that issue is by the uh, turning on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, so now that's all I've added here is historical best bid and offer. And uh, already we're seeing uh, quite a, quite a bit of uh, of data and information uh, that is lacking here in this candlestick chart. Okay, uh, and um, uh, for example, uh, the breakout that occurred right here. Well, I mean, actually, look at the look at the candlestick chart. Let me just turn off historical best bid and offer for a moment. Look at the the candlestick chart here. Okay. This is screaming, well, not screaming, it would be good to see maybe this be red here on the body, um, but um, uh, it looks like there's a tremendous amount of selling pressure here, all right? It looks like this is a false breakout. Uh, this is your shooting star, and uh, the way you would trade it is uh, uh, look for a, uh, a break of the uh, maybe the body here, and you, you did get that here on the next candle, uh, and, um, and then you go short. Well, that, that would be the wrong choice here, okay? So this candlestick is is um, uh, not giving us a, a, a good understanding of the microstructure that occurred in here uh, that gives us a, a lot of insight to this uh, uh, continuation of the movement here to the upside. Uh, and then the volume, there's no volume here uh, at all. We don't know where the volume traded within this uh, candlestick. Uh, we don't know how much and exactly where and what type, all right? Uh, all those questions are, are give a tremendous amount of insight uh, to the uh, 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 anticipated uh, price movement, okay, for the future. So the, um, uh, ah, what was I gonna say? The, uh, oh, looking at a footprint chart, okay? So even a footprint chart, uh, which is, uh, I like very much footprint chart uh, that shows the uh, the volume that traded on the candlestick, but it's it's still lacking the microstructure. Okay, and that's uh, that's critical. Uh, so uh, uh, with Bookmap, you get that microstructure. Okay, so let's go over the open here. Here's our open 9:30. Okay, uh, and you can see the volatility back and forth. Um, and then uh, finally. Uh, let's zoom into this area here. This is the kind of microstructure I'm talking about. Okay, uh, look how, and we see this all the time. We actually have a little structure up here. Okay, it is broken here. Okay, uh, and then we kind of base sideways here. Okay, we actually break the low here, uh, and but trade back into the range. And this is something we look for uh, in the, the advanced uh, order flow webinars. Uh, and we're looking for a return back to the other side of the range and possibly a bigger range, uh, like uh, up to maybe this high or even this high. And you can see we came up to this high and then uh, traded back down. But this is where it gets interesting uh, is because here we broke above this range here, tested again here, and continued to the upside. Okay, so price is accepting above, and uh, we're, we're going to see, uh, and we're going to get the insight here uh, of really why this continued to the upside when we turn on the volume. Okay. 
Okay, and here we go. Okay, so this is what occurred here. Where, where, uh, and I'm going to take the candles. I'll leave it on for the moment. Um, all right, so a lot of sideways action. Uh, the volume dots here are showing you uh, the aggressor classification. So red is more selling, or, or it's a market sell order uh, or transaction. Uh, green is a market buy. Okay, let's zoom into this area here, and I'm just going to quickly go through that. So this is what we're looking at, only two items here in bookmap. Um, we're looking at historical best bid and offer. Okay, Best bid is green uh, line, best offer is the red. And then we can see these dots here. Okay, These dots are trades, Okay, the aggressor. Uh, a red dot is an aggressive market sell order that hit the bid and it took liquidity off of the best bid here. Okay, The green dots you see over here, these are aggressive market buy orders. Okay. They hit the market buy button, they crossed the spread, and they took liquidity. They didn't provide it, um, uh, took liquidity from those willing to sell at these levels. And a dot is uh, um, uh, marked here on the chart. Okay. Now, you can see some of these pie displays in here. Well, there's just so many transactions that took place so quickly uh, that um, uh, we display the overall. Okay. Let me zoom into this, though, and you can see that we just pulled apart. Uh, that uh, pie display and we're showing you all of the data that really occurred here what really happened in this market okay we're showing you down to uh, we're just down at millisecond level here uh, but we can continue to zoom in in fact it looks like there's probably more activity here so I'm gonna uh, zoom into this little area here and let's see exactly what occurred okay so this is what really happened here okay now we're down at, at millisecond level we can continue to look at microsecond level right uh, as you can see uh, in the timeline here okay but as I zoom back out okay uh, note how uh, book map is going to just visually graphically consolidate or aggregate all of those trades into a bigger green dot okay so we're giving you the overall shape and Delta of exactly what occurred there okay so zooming in uh, I can use this um, uh, data tip tool and it shows me exactly what traded here we get the date the time what was on the ask uh, at this price level and the volume that traded okay if I zoom back out I can see it's a bigger dot and it says it's for a volume of 13 All right so that's what we're showing uh, we can really uh, show um, uh, down to uh, billions of seconds so uh, really sub second levels uh, in uh, in book map and the overall display here when you see the pie display it just means that uh, for example, up here and here, there's tremendous amount uh, more buying than there is selling, but there is some selling in these areas. Okay, so uh, let's take a look back at our little area here uh, where we broke from here, retested, and then extended to the upside. All right, so the um, uh, uh, very, very typical, uh, look at the cluster of volume up here. Okay, we have a lot more aggressive buying at a higher area here okay this is a, a key here to understanding now we we, we uh, went a little bit higher and then came back down but we bounced off of where it broke from here okay so we are now accepting above this range here above this um, uh, 6428 level here right and um, and we rotate back up and we find more buyers here okay and the breakout to the upside okay so we know exactly where the volume traded how much um, um, you know when uh, and um, uh, what type okay and we have that within the microstructure which is what gives us the insight uh, for uh, a lot of these um, uh, movements uh, and pullbacks for example to some of these areas you're not going to see that in an aggregate view okay? you're not going to get that pullback uh, like that uh, you want to see the VWAP Edson um, yeah the V the VWAP is is this uh, white line here that I have in my volume column okay you can see there's two volume columns here chart range and a um, uh, session range okay so um, 
for the chart range, it's always this this volume column here. It de it depends on your zoom. It's for the chart range that I have here in my book map. So if I zoom in, note how the chart range volume profile reflects the data here of the traded volume that's within my viewable range. So if I zoom out, then uh, you can see it's reflected here as well. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, the um, uh, we see the uh, the volume and understand the breakout here, and uh, all this is here. This this um, candlestick uh, pattern here with the uh, uh, nice kind of shooting star here. This is just a pullback. That's all it is. Okay, so this this candlestick is is um, is lying to us here. Okay, it's a pullback right to where, uh, where there's a light, nice cluster of volume here. Okay, on, on strong breakouts like this, typically what we see in, on pullbacks is pullbacks to those clusters. In fact, uh, it did that here. Okay, the first pullback was right here to this massive volume cluster. And then it came back up and tested the high, but uh, not enough buyers up here to pull it higher. Okay, so we rotate back down uh, to where there was another cluster of buying here. Okay, and we actually based sideways for a bit, but then the buyer stepped in yet again. Same pattern, same pattern here. Okay, look at the volume cluster above this micro range. Okay, that's the kind of insight that we're getting here that's completely uh, aggregated uh, in the candlestick chart. All right, so um, now there's one more element here. We can take the candlesticks off at this point. There's one more element to uh, of data here. Okay, we show historical best bid and offer, uh, and the um, and the volume. Now we're looking at the heat map. Okay, so what is the heat map? All right, well, let me define it. Okay, it's all derived from the order book. Okay, so here's our order book uh, in book map. This is your dome. Okay, your depth of market or the current order book COB. All right, here's your price ladder here, and these numbers in the order book. Uh, these are showing you levels of liquidity. Okay, so there's a lot of liquidity up here at 43. Okay, and we're coming right up to it right now. And um, uh, there's 216 contracts here. Okay, and we just traded into it, uh, and uh, you see the transactions that took place here. Okay, so that high liquidity, these guys got what they wanted. They wanted to sell at these levels, and they did. All right, uh, and um, now, uh, we can just zoom in here and really understand what's going on. Uh, did it trade or, or did, was it pulled? Okay, because a lot of times you'll hear this argument. Well, I don't, I don't really care what's in the order book because it's all fake liquidity anyway. Well, here's uh, we're able to really um, debunk that and look directly at it. And you can see that this is real liquidity. Okay, because look at the transactions here that are taking place. Okay, right into this high level of liquidity. So, in fact, at the last moment here, we can see there's 191 contracts here on the best offer. And primarily, we're even identifying it here with that large lot tracker that more than half of it is one individual actor providing these 191 contracts. Okay, and he stayed in the book, okay, for the most part. 177 of these traded. Okay, and actually in the end, 191 actually traded, as you can see here with the uh, 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 volume uh, column here. So we know exactly what traded here, and we know that all of that liquidity has been taken. Okay, so what are we what are we uh, anticipating after that? Well, there's going to be some more buyers who are able to lift the offer a bit higher because this level had traded. Okay, but it also gives us insight. Okay, that uh, they absorb this. So larger players are starting to absorb now, okay? So when we see that absorption, uh, we're still bullish here, uh, but we are uh, starting to note that uh, uh, there are a lot of players here uh, that are getting filled at these areas. They are providing high liquidity and they are getting filled, okay? So we're, we're still bullish, but we're looking for um, the uh, returns back up here and, and understanding uh, if uh, uh, they're, uh, uh, we're going to start to exhaust out on the buy side, okay? And in fact, uh, that might even be happening immediately here, okay? Because look at these little pullbacks into these areas here, 
Okay, we're not finding any buyers up here to, to lift the offer up into test some of the higher highs. Okay, now we just got to pull back to where we just broke from down here in this little micro range. I do, we, we always kind of anticipate a bit of a bounce here. Uh, we are getting that, uh, but uh, uh, we need to see that if the buyers are still engaged here. Okay, uh, and we want to see if um, uh, there's more aggressive uh, buying that's going to pull the market up into these higher levels of liquidity up here. Okay, and right now we're not getting that. In fact, sellers are taking control. Okay, target would be down here on the bid at 38. Note, note how they're coming in here now, right now in the limit order book. Okay, so let's define this um, a heat map. Uh, the liquidity you see here in the order book. Uh, if um, the uh, uh, these numbers here, these are contracts at these specific price levels, okay? If it's high area of liquidity, well, we'll, we'll just uh, graphically in this window here um, uh, reference it, okay, with the heat map. So you'll note the heat map's always changing, and it reflects the changes in the order book, okay? This is the last traded volume, and this is your best bid and offer. Now, where this really gets insightful is because we take this data and we record it and project it onto the chart historically. And that's it, okay? So we have an understanding of the liquidity at these areas, uh, and we um, uh, can see the auction and how it's unfolding, okay? So we're, we're getting some, and some really interesting stuff occurring right now. This is fake liquidity down here that we noted uh, at this uh, 38 and a half level. Okay, and why do I say that? Well, I mean, we see 43 contracts traded down here, okay? But here, at this level here, and let me just go back, we see there's 81 contracts, okay? Well, 43, half of it traded, but the other half was pulled. And look at this level lower here at 38. They pulled as well. They don't want to be buyers here, okay? And they jump back in, okay? So that's the auction. That's what's occurred here, All right? So we made a distinction between just now and being able to very clearly and objectively identify larger players up here with high liquidity that's not fake and uh, uh, that's longer-term liquidity as well. It has been here waiting to trade for quite a while. And this is short-term high liquidity that had no intent to trade, okay? It was fake, okay? And... Um, uh, you know, that gives us a, a lot of insight uh, to uh, uh, the players at these levels and under, now starting to understand auction market theory and uh, the intent of uh, or the context of that auction. Okay, and that's what we go through in, uh, in much more detail in the advanced order flow webinars. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that and uh, jump to the next one. Uh, thanks for coming and we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow.